Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a wonderful animated sticky header with a cool transition effect. So at the end of this tutorial, we're going to achieve something that looks like this. And when you scroll, you have this cool effect. Look, you have this wonderful effect. And it's responsive on all devices. And we can check that out and see how it appears on MacBook Air, as you can see. And also, you can check it out on tablet. See how it looks on tablet and also on mobile. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. In our WordPress dashboard, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to the template here. I'm going to click on the team builder. I'm going to open it in another tab. Okay. And then we're going to come here where we see the header. We're going to click on this plus icon here to create a new header. So we'll be creating our header from scratch too. We won't be needing any of this. So we're just going to close this here. Then we're going to click on this flexbox icon here. And then we're going to add this flexbox container, this structure here. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come over here and click on the plus icon here. And we're going to drag a container and drop it here. Now for this first container, we're going to call this container our uh, head one. And then for this inner container here, we're going to call it head child okay now for the head child we're going to come over here set the direction to row horizontal and then we're going to come over here and click on plus and drag and drop another container within it now for this container here we're going to come over and we're going to duplicate the container okay we're going to duplicate it three times now for the first container we're going to call the first container logo and then the second container we're going to call it menu and then for the third container we're going to call it button now for the local container, we're going to come over here to the width. We're going to set the width to 20%. And then for the menu container, we're going to set it to 60%. And then for the button container, we're going to set it to 20% as well. So before we proceed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here under the button and make sure I just fire content to the center. Head over to the menu as well and just fire content to the center. And then for the logo, I do the same, just fire content to the center. Now, under the logo, I'm going to click on this plus icon here and drag the image widget here. Now, I'm going to select a, an image for a logo. I'm going to search for this logo here, and then I'm going to select it. Come over to the link and set the custom URL, dynamic tag, and set it to site URL. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to this head one, and then I'm going to change the background color so that we'll see precisely what we are working with. Okay, great. Now I'm going to click on this plus icon here and drag the WordPress menu here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the align it to the end. Uh, then I'm going to come over here for the full width. I'm going to toggle this to yes. I'll head over to the style option typography. I'm going to increase the font size to 17 pixel. And then for the weight, I'm going to set it to 500 medium. Great. Now I'm going to come over to the type then the text color. I'm going to change the color to white. And then for the hover, I'm going to set the hover color to white as well. And then the pointer color, I'm going to set it to this color here that looks like the logo color. And then for the active, I'm going to do the same white and then logo color here. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to the pointer width. For the pointer width, I'm going to set it to three pixel. And then for the horizontal padding, I'm going to set it to five pixel. Vertical padding, I'm going to set it to five pixel. And then for the space between, I'm going to set it to 25 pixel. Okay, so now that I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come over here and then I'm going to drag the button widget. Okay, now for this button widget, we're going to change the text here to book now. And then I'm going to go to the style and tweak it a little bit, set the position to the right, and then I'm going to come over to the typography, leave the font family as default, and then for the font size, we're going to increase it to 17 pixel. Okay, then I'm going to come over here, the text color set it to white and then for the background color we're going to set it to logo icon color which is that okay so we now have something that looks like this okay this looks beautiful so the next thing we're going to do here is um we're just going to try to make our design responsive on our devices so we're going to come over here to the responsive mode and then let's check it out on tablet now for tablet this is what we'll have so to make it look great on tablet what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this container here and then we'll go to the advanced settings and then we're going to come over to the 
order we're going to set it to custom and then give it a value of position three okay and then we're going to come down here to the layout and for the width we're going to set the width to 20 pixel okay and then let's come over to this container here and for the width we're going to increase the width to 60 pixel all right now that we've done that the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to come over to this icon here and then we're going to come down to the toggle button and let's change the color to white and then let's come over to the font size and give it a font size of 30 pixel and let's go over to the hover and for the hover we're going to change the color to icon color here so when you hover you don't have something like this okay so now when you come over this is what we have here which looks great so the next thing we're going to do we're going to check it out on mobile so for mobile what we're going to do here we're going to come over to the logo container and then we're going to set the width to 50 pixel and then for the uh button container here what we're going to do we're going to go to the advanced settings and then we'll come over to the responsive mode i'm going to for we're going to hide it on mobile then now for the menu container we're going to come here give it a value of 50 pixel here okay then the, now this is what we get now in your situation you might not get this exactly but to correct it and make sure you have it all positioned like this you just come over to the head child and then make sure the gaps here is set to zero just unlink this and make sure it's set to zero the value for row and column is set to zero okay now that we'll have it looking great on mobile tablet and also on pc the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over here and then we're going to publish it and then add it on our entire website and then let's click on save let's close this So now let's come over to the dashboard and let's open visit our site. All right, so this is what we have here on our site. Okay, now we have a black themed website. So you, you might not be able to see this black background here, but not to worry. So now, now that we've set it up like this and it looks great, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come back here to our header and that we're going to set this here to transparent by dragging this here and then we're going to come over to the advanced settings now we're going to try to make it sticky okay but before we do that let's come over here to the margin and let's unlink this and let's set give it the margin of 100 minus 100 pixel okay then let's come over here to the motion effect let's come over to the sticky and let's set it to stick it on top and then for the effect offset let's give it a value of 100 now let's click on update and let's come over to our live site and let's refresh this okay so we can see now that our sticky menu is showing pretty nice as you can see okay so the next thing we're going to do here we're going to come back here and then let's add our custom code so we now have our animated effect so to do so what i'm going to do is still on this head one i'm going to come down here to the custom css here this is where i'm going to add our code okay now i'm going to come over to my vs code editor and this is the code written down here i'm just going to copy this out okay and then i want to come back here and i'm going to paste it now what we're going to do here is we're just going to add this id this custom id here called head one to this container here called head one so we're going to come to the layout and then we'll come over to the id and then we're going to add it here and make sure we increase it seeing this to 9999 so it's higher than every other container on our website now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back here to the custom css and then for this one called the head child this here is a class called head child i'm just going to copy the head child and then we're going to come over to this head child here child container here i'll go to the advanced settings and then for the class we're going to add this here okay so now we can see our effect is already taking place so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to come over here click on update and then let's go back to our site and uh, now let's refresh this okay so now when we scroll you can see this is the effect we now have on our website so let's go back to our uh, header and let's uh, 
check it out on other devices. Check this effect out on other devices, this particular design here and see how it looks. Okay, on tablet, we can see that there is no space at the top for the button. So we're just going to come over to the button container here and then we're going to add a pattern to the bottom 10 pixel and then to the top 10 pixel. Okay, now let's go to the mobile and let's see how it looks on the mobile. It looks great on the mobile. Okay. Uh, okay, now let's come over to this icon here. Let's go to the toggle button and let's make sure we set the background to transparent. Okay, great. So now we're done that. We're just going to click on update. We can uncheck our effects on other screens. So to do so, I'm just going to check it out on other screens and see how it looks. Now for this, you can see it looks well on our MacBook Air. Now let's come over here. Let's check it out on iPad. Then when we scroll, we can see it looks great also on iPad. Okay, now let's come over to our mobile. And it looks great on mobile as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it about this tutorial. If you've learned something new from this tutorial, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to our channel remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when next i drop a new video and feel free to drop your comment whenever you're confused and i'll do well to attend to as much as i can but until then see you on our next video bye bye